Hey guys, what's up? David here, and I'm just coming at you from inside my window. Uh, so, how are things? I wanted to talk a little bit about, I think, a question that comes up a lot when you're starting to learn to code. Like, let's say you're learning to code in Python. You might start to wonder, okay, so we're coding the computer using Python, but how did they code Python? And it's true, all these programming languages you guys use are actually coded in other languages, which is crazy to think about. It also makes you realize you could create your own language in Python, but we'll leave that for another day. But the real question is, right, so all right, so let's say fine, you coded Python in another language. In this case, it was mostly coded in C. Now, this comes into the question of high-level languages and low-level languages. So a very, very high-level language might be something like Scratch which are just these blocks you drag together, it's made for kids. It's a lot easier because a lot of the, the like nitty gritty coding stuff has kind of been abstracted, so it's a lot easier for the kids to do. Then a uh, lower level might be say like Python where you're typing in text, but still there's a lot that's taken care of for you. For instance, there's this thing called garbage collection that like it will delete old references that you no longer need in your code. So that's all done automatically, you don't have to deal with that but Python is coded in C. Okay, C is a lower level language than Python because obviously you can't, you can't code a lower level language, you can't code the language that another one's built on in the language it was built on, that doesn't make sense. So in C, you do have to handle with uh, garbage collection and there's more to think about. You have to uh, save memory space, like allocate the memory space. You don't have to deal with that in Python, all kinds of stuff. Now you're probably wondering, okay, well, what was C coded in? And so you get down to lower level, lower level, and you're eventually becomes that question of like, oh, it's turtles all the way down, if you've heard that phrase of like, it never ends. So where's the bottom point? You know, how is the very lowest level coding coded? And it all comes down to this interesting kind of lowest level tier called assembly code, which if you've ever coded an assembly, it's hell. You, you want to avoid that if possible. No one really codes an assembly anymore. But that's kind of the very baseline, and it's very specific to the hardware. But still, how is that coded? And eventually, and this took me a while to realize, because eventually I was wondering this throughout my CS career. I was like, but what's like that base level? It all comes down to circuits. At the very bottom level, and I learned this in operating systems, at the very bottom level, it's all just circuits in your, in your hardware. There's circuits for adding and you know, basic operations that you're calling with the assembly code. And that's just all on the hardware. And so when you, you move up the ladder, you're really just using these very basic operations, but in more complicated ways. And so it's actually pretty cool how basic it gets. And you have to remember that at the end of the day, everything on your computer is just zeros and ones. So there's only so many operations you can do with zeros and ones, and those are baked into the computer hardware. And then you're just, abstracting how you interact with those zeros and ones. Because like in Python, you're never, you're not usually talking about zeros and ones, you're using strings and booleans and all kinds of stuff. But at its heart, it really is all zeros and ones. And that's, that's kind of mind boggling to realize when you realize it, that it's, it's all just built on each other down to the very base level that's very simple. And it's really just electronics. And so that's why like, I'm always thinking like people that do le electrical engineering, like they're, they're next level smart. I mean, that's, that's crazy. And I wish I knew more of that, but you know, it's still pretty cool to think about. All right, I think I'm gonna get out of the window because I keep worrying I'm gonna hit my head, but I'll see you guys later, bye.